everybody, welcome back. We are continuing right along with our police box assembly. Um, next is the four main side panels of the body. Uh, for that, I will need my parts C, R, N, E, and four sheets that have all of those parts. Sorry about the airplane. I can't I can't stop that airplane. I wish I could. Um, it would make things a lot easier for me. Um, I live the airport's just right across the highway. So um, okay. also I will need part D from this panel. I do not need the other parts from these. So I will get those parts cut out that I need. Um, I will also need to cut out the inside panels of the C. Um, so it kind of has a layered layered look to, to the finish. So I'll get these all, all cut out and I will see you again soon. Okay, I'm going to jump back in real quick. Um, I'm going to have to remember to be very careful uh, cutting these top window panels out uh, because you can see they have the little pieces there. Um, I don't want to break those, so um, I'll be very careful. You should as well if you're doing this. Okay, everybody, that was kind of epic. <laughs> um, that's a lot of pieces to cut, so... Um, now we start to assemble the actual panels. So I will get my paper down here as a reference, or as protection, rather. Um, and then part C. Oh, I missed one. Got one more to cut. Okay, that's all of the panels I need cut out for the uh, side walls. And first step will be gluing this one with the windows. Parts, this is C, it gets glued to D, which is the back panel. Um, and it basically adds the support. It is the support for this. So I'll just run some glue along the top, down the middle, down the ends. And along the horizontal pieces. And I'll just lightly smear that around so that there's as much contact as possible. This is you know, mainly decorative, but it's, you know, I don't want these to fall off either. Um, so, a good amount of 
glue holding these two together. So, we'll get these down and just line them up. Line one end down and then lay it down flat. Matching the top and bottom edges, side edges, and then just pressing down firmly. Any glue squishing out, I'll just wipe away. Yeah, so I'll get the others, other four panels um, put on. And I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I've got the uh, C and D panels glued together. Um, I'm actually going to let these sit for a while to dry and I will be back again after a little cleanup and uh, we'll continue on to the next step. Okay everyone, welcome back. The um, panels have uh, mostly dried. Uh, they're not going to move around anyway. Um, and at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the facing details to the panels and then let everything dry fully and then probably sand off um, some parts of the extra glue that seeped out the edges. I'll just sand those, those clean and do some other cleanup. Um, so on each panel, um, there are four more pieces of wood that I have to glue on. Um, two of them, these two are identical, they're both the letter N. Uh, one goes on the bottom, one of them goes on top of the R piece, and then they both get glued together to the top. So, I will start with the N. And I will use my tweezers here for a little bit added precision. And I have my panels um, on a sheet of wax paper that it, the whole thing is on top of a piece of cardboard um, and that's so that I can pick the whole thing up and move it uh, with as minimal disturbing as possible. This won't take much glue at all, it's just little pieces. This one goes right to the bottom edge all the way. So I'm just pushing up with my thumbs to make sure that that's at the bottom. Even with the bottom edge of the panel. Okay. And then the next is this long piece is uh, E and it gets glued dead center and 
um, all the way down to the bottom. What was that? Oh, never mind. Um, dead center and then the bottom edge of this piece will butt up against the edge of the N. Good. Do a little bit of tweaking there, but that should be good. Okay. And then next, I will glue the other end to the front of the R. And this gets glued. Whoops. This will go right to one side. The uh, N is slightly narrower than the width of the R, but we want one edge of the N to line up with the edge of R. And the, the re I could be doing this with super glue. Um, I'm doing wood glue because uh, it gives me time to do those fi these final adjustments. Um, super glue would just set way too fast, um, and also I couldn't handle it with my hands. Um, I'd be I'd have glue I'd have bits of wood glued to me. All, all over the place and that would not be good. So, and then the RN assembly will go on the top, right up against the top of the uh, E. So I will carefully, if my tweezers open far enough, hold on. I'm trying to hold as much to R as I can. Not the N, I don't want to push the N around. Yes, that. There. Swipe off a little bit of the extra. And then flipping that around so that the uh, N portion is on the top. And then one last adjustment. And then it's down. Okay. So that, oops, it's not quite square. Not that it really has to be perfectly square. This is not an aerodynamic shape at all. This is just the design of the actual box. Um, so this is one finished panel. I'll do three more and then I'll be back. Okay, my panel pieces are all assembled. And I'm just curious, does anybody else out there, see a face with uh, unibrow, or is it just me? But anyway, um, those are all on, um, and I'm gonna let these dry a little more fully uh, before going on to the next step. And since the next step involves using these guys, That'll be in the next time. So thanks again for joining me here, and I will see you again.